Hi, my name is Andy. I'm here with Uncle G's Farm. If you're not familiar, it's just outside of Boone. Wonderful local farm here, and I'm here to tell you how to cut up their chicken. All right, he's not my uncle, but he's my G. We got this beautiful chicken breast up. We've washed our hands, because that's what you need to do. First thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab the legs, just like this. You can hear it dislocate when you twist and turn. Hear that pop? Perfect. Now we know it's good to go. I'm gonna do the other side too. Oh, there you go. Hear that? That's all that delicious flavor coming out. Next I'm just gonna gently cut that away. See how easy that is to do with this good sharp knife? We're gonna set these legs aside because everybody loves a good chicken leg. Am I right? Now that we've got that done, we're going to do the same thing with the wings. See how easily that pulls away once you pop it? You just give it a little slice and that thing's done for. See that? You can take a little skin with you. A lot of flavor comes with that, but you don't necessarily need it to eat. Now, let's get to the most important part. We're talking about the chicken breast. That's what everybody loves, that's what everybody wants. So the first thing we're gonna do, cut away this back. Now you've got a lot of usable meat there. There's a lot of fat to it as well. So, maybe roasting that, maybe using it for soup. It's good but it's not the easiest thing to deal with. So here we've got nothing but chicken breast. Now it's still attached to bone, what are we gonna do? Well, I'll tell you. Right down the middle, we got the spine. And here, we're gonna look just a little bit to the right of it. We're gonna gently cut away. So now, we have full size restaurant quality. I'm gonna call that about a seven ounce chicken breast filet. Boneless, skinless, as good as it gets. Locally grown. Same with the other side. Go just a little left. You've got yourself beautiful, boneless, skinless chicken butt breast fillet. Now, after that, you still have your back and your breast. There's still a lot of usable meat here, folks. If you choose to roast this and pick this, there is nothing you can't do. I like to make Asian meals, Italian meals, all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this meat. If you've done it correctly, you will have two delicious breasts, two wings to use for anything you'd like, and then two of everyone's favorites, the legs. Then we have the backbone and the breastbone that are often thrown away but still have tons of usable meat on them. It all depends on how much you like to use. Me. I don't like to see any of it go to waste. Thanks again for watching. My name's Andy. Please check out Uncle G's Farm on Facebook, where you can like us. You can also find us at all the farmer's markets from Ames to Valley Junction and Beaverdale. Don't hesitate to stop by and say hello. And as always, thanks for eating at Uncle G's Farm.